Hello there Aries and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good out there. And Aries, if you don't know how it works on this channel, well, I just channel out what spirit wants me to uh, for however long spirit wants me to. And that's just how I roll with spirit and it is for you. So I do hope that you enjoy this for Aries and sun, moon, rising and Venus. So let's see what you need to know when it comes to your current situation. We have the second excuse me, second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel. So there may be a reawakening or an awakening of intimacy, uh, creativity. So open yourself up for self-discovery. You might even be unleashing something wild within. Okay, so just tap into it, tune into it. Don't be afraid of it. I'll explore it. Open it up. Okay. Um, I want to see what this card is as well. And we got the angel of balance. So I feel that while you are waiting for your miracles to happen and emerge right before your eyes, you might as well have fun. Play while you wait for your blessings and just keep things in check, right? I feel that you have learned in the past things that maybe, uh, you might've went, uh, overboard or maybe you just underdid you know whatever it is just maintain a sense of healthy balance right now no matter what you know notice how this angel is carrying that um, container there very carefully and watching what's happening here so that we can really just maintain a sense of uh, equilibrium equanimity no matter what is going on because there's something again that you are supposed to be spending time and exploring that's you know fun for you okay so let's see what else you need and you need to know when it comes to your situation and also this angel of balance uh, for those Aries that resonate with this this angel of balance could be bringing you someone that is balance Okay, like you have, or that you are, or that you've been working towards. Because I do get this thing about intimacy, exploring that and exploring it with another. Oh yeah, look at that woman holding a heart here. So it's like, you know what I'm hearing is ripe and ready, R-I-P-E, ripe and ready. Like she's, you know, picking the fruit and she picked the right fruit for her. So, you know, this is, you, know, you Aries, really be in the place of woman holding a heart, whether you're male or female, but also, yes, you could be opening yourself up to a woman, uh, most likely a woman. I know this is a general reading, but um, there could be someone that embodies a lot of feminine aspects or qualities that I feel that you're going to connect with that is very soothing, healing. Um, this could be love. It could be just a um, acquaintance or some some someone significant uh, for you to uh, share something uh, at a you know with you know at a deep emotional level here. So um, the other thing that I want to say though is the woman holding a heart to me really signifies uh, Queen of Cups. So this is about, you know, following your heart, allowing, see how she's allowing her heart to lead the way. She's gone through, a he or she, this is you, gone through that transformation and you need to trust that you have gained the wisdom necessary and you're ready for the next level, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. And also, you know, the, the creativity stirring up too, you could find a new love or passion or are ready to up level your creativity. What else? Okay. Oh my gosh. You have someone here. So some of you, you could be connecting with someone right now. Uh, that's a caring connection, but you know, this is plural. So you know, be available for more than one here because when one person, when you're introduced to one person, they have friends and family and whatnot. Um, but also maybe some of you, you know, you're still exploring your options or whatever here. Um, but it is leading you to a, a caring connection here. And, you know, what's funny is I really get the temperance, like temperance uh, tarot, which is associated with Sagittarius, 
And I feel, and I was feeling that earlier. Um, that's why I was saying to you, Aries, about an angel bringing you someone that's balanced um, and helps you maintain balance, okay? Because I feel that you've done a lot of work to uh, heal yourself, uh, to do the right things, to maintain um, balance that's right for you, okay? Not not you trying to alter yourself to fit another person's mold. This is about you finding yourself, your own balance, and you're ready. So this is really lovely. I like where we're going and, you know, we're exploring, um, di you know, different aspects of intimacy here. Okay, let's see. What else for Aries? Oh, we got a contract. Okay, this is like justice card. So Aries, a lot of you, what's nearing is some type of special connection. Okay, and this is a situation where you can find yourself being in for the long term. Okay, there could be something about marriage. Obviously, with the contract and me picking up like the sense of justice, that could also be, you know, some legal things for some of you. Maybe some of you have gone through some type of divorce or separation because I do see um, <laughs> this butterfly on her head. But I am sensing with this woman holding a heart is mixed in with the Queen of Swords. Okay, and the Queen of Swords um, has experienced a tremendous heartbreak, but she's also uh, not going to allow herself not to get fulfilled when it comes to matters of the heart. So you are ready. And when we were talking about this thing of balance, and I love that this card came out with the scales being balanced. It's not uneven. There may be a situation too, for some of you Aries with, you know, maintaining a sense of balance. Um, we may need to remain objective. We may need to um, remain open that everyone has their own truths and their own rights. And, you know, that's fine. Um, but I'm seeing you just not bending or compromising what you truly value, what you stand up for, okay? And I do feel a lot of you have already been making the right choices. Some of you, Aries, you, because this is a general reading, you are um, maybe just wait, waking up to some choices and decisions and realizing what you're coming into because we are going to be sitting with like a term here, like a contract, right? If you think about contracts, they could be for long term or short term, right? You could lease it, rent it, or own it. <laughs> I, but we don't own people, okay? That's one thing we don't own. Okay, but anyhow, um, six is also a number of balance. So this is signifying a great partnership on the horizon that is really needed and wanted for you. It is a caring connection. It's ideal because I'm seeing a real sense of balance here, okay? And someone who is fair, someone who's willing to listen, and remain objective, willing to see both sides of a situation. Some of you, Aries, could there possibly be, hmm, there, oh yeah, there, okay, some of you, there could possibly be someone maybe wanting to have forgiveness or uh, talk about things, okay? So that's also, I feel, up in the air because mostly I'm seeing something that's already set in stone here. It's, it's ready. And it is a divine gift from the heavens here because you're being surrounded by Archangel Ariel and the Angel of Balance. What else for Aries? The Temple Path. See, Spirit, God, Jesus, the Universe really helping you stay true to your path, stay aligned with right thinking, right choices that fit for you, okay? Because I'm not here to tell you what's right or wrong, right? But we all know it's this is about karma, you know, what we reap, what we sow, and you are reaping what you've sown. This is why you're ready. 
Now, if something or someone is troubling you or challenging you, please take some time out. I, I get the hangman actually with this and the four of swords. So sorry, Aries, because this is just, you know, for those that don't know, I just, you know, pick up the energy of cards as we're talking here. So four of swords is associated with uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, yeah, I feel that you're being guided to take some time out if you need to. You don't have to handle everything all at once or right then and there. Okay, you can take your time on things. In fact, it might you might be best off uh, biding your time, right? To get clarity, to uh, get to a place where you are surrounded by protective, benevolent, loving light and energies here because this is what's you know, contracted for you is this and always having your spiritual contract, right? Always. And so the unseen is always guiding and protecting you, helping you come into contracts in your life, metaphorically or, you know, real contracts that fit you in your situation that don't disrupt or put things out of harmony and out of alignment because you've worked too hard to get here. Okay. And we don't need anything or anyone to disrupt the energies that's playing out right now. And that's what's and what's uh, what's to come. What else for Aries? Six, six chakra Archangel Metatron. This is your third eye. We could be thinking about a lot of things for some of you, okay? Because remember, we have to try to maintain balance. So easy does it, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, okay? Uh, but the sixth chakra is, you know, trusting your vision here, trusting in uh, your ability to utilize your mind in the divine's will here, where we're being very creative, open to visions, you know, I was getting the hanged man, actually, where what, oh, over here, the temple path. And the hanged man can also represent, you know, a time of pause and reflection, enlightenment, um, prof uh, prophetic messages here. And that's what I see that you are doing and attaining. Now, also with the sixth chakra, take it if it resonates, you know, if you've been feeling overwhelmed mentally, because you're just thinking so much, you know, um, Take a little time to connect with spirit, you know, consistently, daily, okay? It's going to help calm your mind or your monkey mind. So take that if that resonates. Um, and also with Archangel Metatron, you know, it's like the angel that has walked like the human uh, existence here. So he knows just as well as you how hard it is to have to put up with things, but this is where we just have to allow things to coexist, right? And concentrate on, you know, building the things in your life that you seek, that you want. Uh, not what we can't control anyways, because there's just so much going on anyways in this world, you know? So we all have free will. All right, let's see, what else for Aries? Oh my goodness. We got the man holding a heart. This is the counterpart to the woman holding a heart. And we don't have that many cards coming out here. And yeah, it's just more in tune with what I was picking up with you, uh, having a compliment that's for you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be surprised if it, you know, um, really feels like a deep soul connection. Okay. Uh, like a twin and soul here. It's beautiful. You're ready. Someone's ready for you. You're ready to open up to a relationship or relationships. Because uh, again, you know, when you meet someone, it also opens up to meeting other people, um, if that's the case. But yeah, we got, we got the man holding a heart. I also feel a lot of you, Aries, are in a place of having to be strong emotionally like more mature <laughs> and you could be finding yourself being proud of yourself too for uh, being able to handle a situation and tolerating others with love and compassion and understanding but still focusing on your own needs and wants okay um but i do feel that you're open and ready now there's also a situation that i see for some of you aries take it if it resonates because it is a general reading 
you know, you could be on the path as a guide, counselor, healer, uh, therapist of some type. There's somebody that's going to aid is, uh, and help others. So I see you um, really being skilled and masterful at, at that and accomplished. So hopefully you, you know, don't give up on that dream or don't let anything or anyone discourage you. What else? Take this if it resonates too. I was just getting this message. There could be a man here. In, uh, maybe it's you, some of you Aries, if you're a man, but you could be involved with a man here that really likes flowers, gardening, or something like that, okay? So that's cool. Okay, all tied up. Well, what the heck? Okay, six. Okay, there's something about reclaiming power or a mind here. We're all tied up. Hmm. Well, well, well. I feel like we might feel a little hesitant or might be we might be still having to clear something here so let's get a little bit more with this all tied up this can also signify something maybe uh financial constraints schedule constraints feeling a little insecure because we're not sure if we're ready to open up that kind of constraint Let's get more too with the all tied up for Aries. I flow towards my goal. I am strongly protected as I go. So don't, don't hold yourself back. I get like eight of swords here with this all tied up, which, you know, we could be only seeing the problems or not being open or just you know, maybe just being more in the flow to receive solutions and ideas. Uh, but don't hesitate here. Flow towards your goal. You're protected as you go. And see, this is you tapping into, you know, creativity here. Opening yourself up to passion, things that ignite you as well. What did I tell you about your angels up here and the, you know, the temple path here? You know, here, here they are surrounding you, following you. What else? Yeah, you got, you got, you got the door to romance opening up. See, there's something contracted for you. It's from the heavens above here. So believe it, trust it. Okay. There's something that you are meant to connect with. You're going to be opening up your heart. The door to romance, being romantic. Look, I was noticing 44, now we got 33 here, so I like this. So yeah, you probably are noticing number synchronicities more and more, okay? That's just, you know, evidence that things really are aligning right for you. Music's in, music is involved here too, maybe something with piano. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but I don't know why I was picking up piano. Anyhow, we got, you know, a very romantic situation i feel anyways with you know two people who are ripe and ready <laughs> you might not believe you are but you are okay come on yeah action you need to put a little bit more effort i can see it because it is all tied up just put a little bit more effort into what you're doing you're going to succeed at something you're nearing some type of opening some type of goal of yours and it matters because this is about you, your heart, and what's sacred and what's contracted, okay, for you. So we may just need to do a little consistency or put a little bit more effort or don't procrastinate. So pick which one is for you because you're, you know, really getting close to something here. Just don't be afraid to take action, okay? I'm seeing like you receiving um, a wish fulfillment just by taking action and boom, voila, here we go. <laughs> We're in a place where finally the, the inner world and the outer world has matched up. What else for Aries? Some of you Aries might even do this already. Or maybe listen, you know, you know, do your research and do the ones that you're guided to. But there could be, you know, putting a crystal on your third eye or your head there that could help calm and soothe. You know what actually would come to, which one would be good 
to just calm your mind would be selenite, okay? You can even keep that by your head or um, I, I actually keep a big one under my bed. <laughs> oh, this one wants to come out. Friendship, a friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. See, I was picking up you, you know, just being able to counsel and give people um, good advice here. Okay, so don't question it. Now, some of you, you do have a friendship or maybe, you know, you're being called to be of service here. So, you know, put some more effort into what you're doing and see results. See your rewards come to fruition. And, you know, we got this caring connection. You know, this is really good. It's, it's really, really good. Because this is where you get to flourish because... This is where I feel you you feel Aries right at home when you get to help others in a way where you know what the hell you're talking about, right? And that feels good. Okay, what else for Aries? We got that broken heart. You know what? It landed right on that woman holding a heart too. And we were just talking about her, him or her, this is you, overcoming that a broken heart here, flourishing. And not only do you uh, did you repair and mend and heal a broken heart, but it's like that one big heart made multiple hearts here. So you're going to find like things um, opening up that maybe you never even knew existed. You could be opening up uh, dormant gifts, abilities, emotions. Oh, wow. It could get really really fun <laughs> okay so it could get really exciting but maintain balance here yeah you're healing your broken heart here and this is why you're getting this something is contracted right because this is about making things balance and fair and right let's get a little bit more too with this broken heart for aries let's get more with this broken heart oh I just saw a name popping out here. Oh, let's, okay, obviously this is a general reading, okay? So it's not gonna resonate for everyone. I saw the name Ken in here. Okay, anyways, let's see. And I also see um, art. Oh, we got the world card, see? You got this beautiful thing that's happening. You're done. You're totally done with a chapter, a cycle, of a broken heart, healing, mending, wounds, not only from yourself, but from others as well, Aries, because, you know, deep down, I feel that a lot of you are uh, healers here, okay? Or you just have that uh, natural ability to bring healing. Um, so we got this world card. You know, this is really signifying achievement as well, wisdom, ready to step into a whole new experience, and you're not doing it alone either, okay? So... You know, there could be a situation where we definitely have that the like a I, I don't want to say like the most perfect you know compliment but that's what I'm getting it's it really is it's like you know this is everything you know you've got everything in your world that you um, want you don't need anything more Now, some of you, Aries, might have even got a broken heart for something that you felt you were achieving here, and it could have been a difficult or, you know, a difficult uh, road to success, but you are achieving success here, okay? And most importantly, you're ready for a whole new experience, um, but you're, you're not coming into a whole new experience without some wisdom. That's the thing. So it's gets even better, you know? It's like that saying, um, like wine, what is it? What is that saying? I don't know, fine wine gets better as time, with time or something, you know? <laughs> All right, let's see, what else? Yeah, that's kind of funny, because I kept getting this like ripe, right? You know, R-I-P-E, I think that's you that I was saying that to, and now I'm like thinking of fulfillment like grapes, and I was talking about wine, fine wine here, so. Ooh, I, I see great fulfillment. Actually, it is. It's going to be, you know, um, oh, I'm hearing the word endearing, fulfilling. Now, if you're already involved, 
<laughs> obviously you're going to have some type of commitment that goes to a higher level rekindling of some type now if you're not looking for a commitment well it's going to happen some type of commitments happening here that you're going to open your heart to do it aries you know don't don't hold back there's nothing that's going to come out of just staying here seriously just more plants growing around you that's all <laughs> okay we don't need that five of pentacles oh my gosh this is card of feeling heartbroken some of you guys could even feel heartbroken because you're feeling alone you could even be feeling heartbroken because there could be some health concern health concerns or financial concerns as well but we're getting things into balance here. So if, if you feel like your finance, I'm just going to talk to the ones that resonate with the finance stuff. You know, if you've been feeling like your finances have been off whack, <laughs> off balance, just give it a little time here. Start making wise choices. Even these little things count. Okay. Start making wise choices in the department of your finances. Okay. Utilize attention and com commitment discipline to get your accounts aligned and watch you watch what happens you'll start magnetizing more money because you're managing it so well okay so anyhow five of pentacles we're feeling hopeless and lost there's someone that's ex extremely sad so i actually see the five of cups with this five of pentacles um i have to put a i have to put a sticker on this one too aries because youtube's funny and it probably won't send a red flag but she's it, there is a nipple that's showing okay so um she just looks real sad down and out here okay and remember there's this thing about um coming into a place of healing a broken heart we could we we actually could be having some closure issues here and that that's exactly what i feel you guys are getting some type of closure However, however it reconciles with you, it's meant to because you're meant to open up for fulfillment. Okay, it's time. I feel some of you guys have been feeling really wary, like very tired. Okay, so let's see what else for Aries. Well, you know yourself deeply and find yourself worthy. This is you standing in your own truth, Aries. Um, I choose to take the higher perspective and widen my views. Remember what we're talking about too. You see this person with a blindfold. This is you standing in a place of, you know what? I can just, you know, be who I am and allow others to be who they are, but you can choose to, to see a higher perspective and widen your views. This is why I'm sensing a lot of you, if you're not in it yet, you will be in a place of feeling more, um, emotional mastery, you know, um, and more attuned, more aware, more, yeah more in the um swords energy where you're really sculpting out your future you're shine okay look at that i shine my light outwards for all to see i'll show these cards to you too and this is you know look at the um sixth chakra here this is there's a lot of light emanating right so don't don't hide <laughs> don't hold yourself back just because okay you know what just the I know some of you Aries need to hear this, so take it if it resonates. Just because one or a few areas in your life isn't what you want it to be, it's not as perfect as you want it, me, want it to be, doesn't mean you got to sit and wait. You need to get out, do things, okay? Don't hold yourself back. Everything will start to come in um, at the right time for you, okay? This is why I was getting like this one heart is opening up to many hearts, like many cups here. Let yourself shine. I seek truth and act upon my realizations. Yeah, this is you standing in your own truth. I seek truth, act upon your own, act upon your realizations and persist. Your will is strong 
you gather more wisdom each day. This is why you're at this place or heading towards the world card. And you're not going to remain stuck. You choose change. See, not remaining all tied up because you gain wisdom more each day. I think I already said that. <laughs> Continue to um, honor and love yourself. Okay, queen, this queen of cups is taking care of herself. She's realized the time and energy that she spent shedding these tears, loving the wrong things, or you know what? I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, there was like a quote actually that I saw that I thought was really uh, cute. It said, um, and, and maybe and I think it will resonate for a lot of you. Uh, what was the quote? Um, is something about, uh, you know, if you loved, if you love someone, the wrong per, okay, if you love the wrong person that much, imagine uh, what it's gonna be like when you love the right person. Mm, you like that? <laughs> Don't, don't make me repeat that because that was, I had to like really think about that for a second. Okay, let's see. What else for Aries? Yeah, you, you, you definitely were dealing with the karmic uh, relationship, Aries. Very triggering, fleeting, emotional. You're done. You, you're you're totally ready. You're you're ready for um, harmony. You're ready for reciprocity. You're ready for, um, you know, a situation where when things get hard, we work towards making it better. Not one person working towards making it better because that puts you out of balance. And I can feel that's what you did because a lot of you, I feel that you've embodied. Um, the king and the queen of cups, you know, and when they're a little out of balance or they don't tend to themselves, they overdo it with others, you know. Anyhow, I like what's happening here. We got the sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business, growth, fabulous communication and relationships. Okay, but there was that message too about letting yourself shine. Aries, let yourself shine. Okay, have confidence. Things are going your way. Just because one little hiccup or something or a bump in the road, don't, don't let that hinder your progress because you're headed towards happy days here. Healing days. What else? Oh, yeah. Woman holding a coin. There was a little funny thing with that too. I feel there's something strong going on with uh, finances for some of you Aries or boundaries and really knowing boundaries and maintaining that. But there was a strong energy. So speaking of the woman holding coin too, there could be a very strong dominant woman that's either a blessing or a... <laughs> seem like a curse. Okay, let's get a little bit more with this woman holding a coin. There's a communication. Okay. And I want to, I feel like getting one more too. A reunion could bring love or rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. You know, I was talking about, um, excuse me, boundaries here. So I'm seeing you guys doing whatever you need to do. You've taken, see, you've been taking the time to take care of yourself, whether you're a man or a woman and look at you flourishing, thriving, I mean, we're dressed to impress, you know, we've had that time because you know what? We realize where we were wasting time or where, you know, we could have spent our, well, you know what? It doesn't matter where you've been. What, what matters is what you're doing now and how you're utilizing your time. You, I feel a lot of you are doing a great job with balancing and managing your time wisely because I feel like your angels don't allow you to get off track. Okay. They're always there to remind you. So yes, we've got um, communication coming in. This could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a friendship. A lucky win seems likely. We could even have a windfall of resources or money. Okay, but um, we got love. We got a rekindling here of friendships because I was getting something about an apology too. So maybe a friend or someone from the past. 
Okay, what's this? What was this? Oh, look at this. Nice, look. A sudden change of luck. This is coming out with that woman holding a coin too, which is a, um, a person of wealth. We've got it together. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking because this is contracted. This is for you. Trust that it's going in your favor. Okay, let's see what else. The thinking woman. You know, I, I was getting something about remaining objective here. And I do feel that a lot of you Aries are being guided to stand in your own truth, um, not allowing things to discourage you or even tempt you to go into old ways or something old that you know to be a karmic pattern or behavior, whether it's a person, idea, you know, situation. But I do feel there is a few people that are um, important. Now, some of you, you've already met these people, okay? But I do feel that there's a few people, like between three to four people here, I feel. And one, yes, a thinking woman could be on your path. Now, a lot of you could be embodying this as well, where, you know, you've, you're you being in tune to more heightened sense of awareness um, and not allowing yourself to uh, you know, fall below. Okay. It's kind of like you look at that caterpillar or excuse me, caterpillar. Wow. Let's see. I just said caterpillar. <laughs> My point was, this is a butterfly. You notice the butterfly, right? So she, this is where you're at, right? And you, um, are speaking butterfly language, right? And it's hard to speak butterfly language to caterpillar people. Okay. So, uh, just remain poised, calm, confident, um, and also be open to information, knowledge, and wisdom that will really change the way that you see things. Okay. Because there is a situation, whether you get uh, it just, you know, an epiphany or enlightenment, uh, with your higher self, God, Jesus, or someone opens you up, but this is where you are choosing to take a higher perspective and widen your views and you just are going to keep ascending on those stairs higher and higher and this is where i see a lot of you achieving something really masterful that's what it feels like and also i i feel you know there's something you know obviously you know where you need to um you know, do a little bit more effort here, uh, but you know, it's okay to take your time to think about things um, thoroughly here, right? The pros and cons, like weighing your decisions carefully because the decisions that you're making now matter. What else? I see the gateway is open and the pathway is clear. My journey begins. Yeah, see, here you go, running on your horses. The gateway is open and see those doors are opening here. That sunshine is exposing the gateway. So you've done the work. Continue to just stand where you need to stand. Some of you Aries, you may need to uh, work or research or figure out how to continue maintaining some healthy boundaries in all aspects of your life. Okay. Um, even with your finances, time with friends, people, your, you know, time with yourself, balancing career and home life or study and home life or whatever you got going on. What else? And having time for, you know, your animals too. So I see you, you know, really, if you're not in this position yet, you're going to be in a position where you feel really ripe and ready. Okay. You're handling your business just quite well. I'm just talking about handling your business quite well. We got the door to value. Oh man, you know, there's a lot of um, options and opportunities for growth, wealth. So, 
you know, be open to influences of others that are positive and good, especially when it comes to making uh, healthy decisions and choices, mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, whatever, okay? But you have to know your value here. Yep, money is going to be looking and increasing, especially if we've been feeling the lack of, because that five of pentacles could speak of financial constraints. Okay, what else for Aries? Appreciation. There's a lot to appreciate. So Aries, just be in a state of appreciation and notice the things that you can appreciate right now. Appreciate those caring connections you have, uh, the pets, that you have the people, the acquaintances, the neighbors, community, the flowers, the garden, whatever you got in your what, whatever. Okay, the the no neighbors that you have. Uh, okay, whatever. You know, it's about being in this stance of appreciation, not complaining or not being distracted by people who like to complain. Okay, because you know what I see is the nine of pentacles here. So there could be a real shift in wealth, a discovery with yourself too, where um, you know others may actually be <laughs> putting their foot in their mouth because they might have not believed the things that you are going to achieve. You're going to be carving out your own little piece of heaven on earth is what you're achieving. Okay, so just be in that state of appreciation and know that you are appreciated as well. Even find the small things right now that you can appreciate. Okay, especially if you've been overthinking it too much or overdoing something too much. Take a little time to, you know, be still. Surround yourself in nature. I mean, we even have that sunshine here. Yeah, see, this is there. There's just lots of rewards here. Lots of rewards. We're thriving. What else for Aries? Seventh chakra. You too get this card. I love it because this is the crown chakra. I mean, this is like the thumbnails. <laughs> okay. We got the um, Archangel Uriel. So something is manifesting. A lot of you are learning and becoming very masterful too when it comes to manifesting, okay? And, you know, here you are sitting in the realm of spirit. Spirit guides, angels, your higher self being attuned. So you might even be finding yourself being highly sensitive, actually, Aries, yeah, I bet you you've been going through some physical changes. You know what I was going to say was like physical alterations. That's weird. I would I don't I never use that, but I was like even looking at clothes like something is altering here. Um you could yes, I was talking about you could be finding yourself a lot more sensitive. You could be more sensitive to smells, food, people, um, you know, just certain situations. So it's probably most likely what I can see is because you um, you went through a transformation. So you're just getting used to a new uh, aspect of yourself. So it's going to take a little time. So nurture this and spend time with spirit um, or nature, you know, wherever you can to open yourself up to spirit guides, higher knowledge, higher learning that's coming to you straight from spirit. Okay, what else for Aries? Okay, that's it for those. So Aries, let's find out uh, what, uh, no, excuse me. Actually, I was getting distracted because I, I was looking at the crown chakra and some of you, you know, Aries, you're all about the head area too. So I'm feeling like some of you really need to maybe be more cautious and take care of your head. Maybe you guys have been experiencing some headaches, so just take it easy, okay? Um, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for Aries. What does Aries have to look forward to in the near future? Oh, see? And I was hearing like somebody wants to give to you, Aries. But again, some of you Aries, you might have to get out of your head about it because I, I feel like 
you want all of everything to be all perfect and right at the right time, but not, it's not going to work out that way because maybe you're going to be like, well, I want to give two or, you know, you got to remember though, like it's all working out the way it needs to. Um, what you have to look forward to is look manifestations, a bountiful time awaits you and your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. I feel like I was seeing that card earlier. Burnout, your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional to try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So I actually see you guys knowing your limits, taking better care of yourself, because this is what you have to look forward to in the near future. More balance, harmony, right? And enjoying something new that's being manifested in your life. I love it. And also you're going to be planning for the future. Now is the time to lay down the found, uh, foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. See the door to value, see the money and the woman holding the coin. Mm -hmm. She's done the right planning and look, you're going to be seeing signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear, Aries because spirit is guiding you. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you, Aries. How is spirit currently helping Aries? Ooh, Aries, you know what? I just looked over at my one of my crystals here. Ooh, I don't know. This is spirit quartz. So, hmm. Spirit quartz, okay. Maybe you guys will be drawn to that or um, get a, maybe get one yourself, but you know, obviously you don't have to go and spend money if you don't need to. I was just getting drawn to that spirit quartz for you. Um, let's see what else does, um, oh no, this is, sorry, Aries. <sighs> How spirit is helping Aries currently? How is spirit helping Aries currently? Uh, I enjoy the serendipity of life. The unexpected can be wonderful. You know, it's just kind of like I turned over and I looked and I've had this crystal for a long time, but today it just looked really new and it just kind of like jumped out at me and it was just unexpected. So yeah, some of you guys, you could be getting unexpected gifts, compliments, but more, most importantly, remember what just came out about what you have to look forward to in, in the future, which is like four of these. Uh, your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear because hello, you're going to be joining the serendipity of life. The unexpected can be wonderful because something is going to happen right before your eyes, Aries. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.